Welcome to Dear Pip. This is the show where I help you figure out life. Well, at least try to. Let's go. Have you ever sat in the back of class thinking about how you're falling behind in your grades and you don't know how to catch up? Or maybe you just want to make a good first impression? Well, I'm here to help you answer those questions. Here we go. Oh, uh, excuse me. Thank you. This one's from Tori. She says, Dear Pip, I'm going into year seven next year and I'm really nervous. Any advice? Hmm, where to start? I mean, it's such a big one to unpack. If you are going to a brand new high school with none of your primary school friends coming with you, that can be really scary. But it's also a great opportunity because it's time to be whoever you want to be. You can be anything. You can start off your whole different personality of liking hedgehogs and reading books instead of being the sporty person. And that's what I did. When I first went into year seven, I knew no one and no one from my primary school came with me. So it was like, cool, I could be whoever I want. If you're in that boat, then it's time to invest in some <gasps> extracurricular. Extracurriculars. I'm open, I'm open, yeah! Oh! Ah, <gasps> oh. <gasps> Maybe in primary school you were the horse girl. <laughs> but guess what? You don't have to be anymore. It's year seven, new year, new you. That was my best name. <laughs> when I started year seven, literally knowing no one, I made friends through school musicals. I saw this flyer next to the drama room saying that they were gonna build a tech crew. And I thought it would be super fun. And we basically worked on all the school productions, assemblies, school musicals, sound, lighting, stage managing, and sets. And it was awesome. And here are my buddies and I in tech crew. And the reason why I'm wearing an eye patch is because a tick bit me under my eye and my eye swelled up so I couldn't see. Arr. I remember one time during Susical the Musical, Horton the Elephant was sitting on one of those really tall tennis chairs that they use for umpires and was singing a song. And then suddenly, Horton's microphone went dead. Through my headphones, I could hear my tech crew friends being like, dude, you gotta go out there and change that mic pack like right now, the batteries have died, get out there! And I was like, ah, I can't do this, this is way too embarrassing, like no way, it's like a whole live audience out there watching. But also they can't hear Horton sing. So I gotta do something, I'm freaking out. Ah! So I just mustered up all the courage I had, and I walked up on stage, then like had to like climb this chair really awkwardly. And I remember the girl who was playing Horton like singing her heart out. No one could really hear her. And then she like looks down at me and is like, ah! Giving me like the biggest stink eye, like, what are you doing? And I was literally like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I just have to do this as part of my job. And I like open up her mic pack, like put new batteries in, click it. And I like get out, just like scuttled off stage. And then I hear all my friends from Tech Crew like cheering and being like, well done, yes, you did it, nice one, save the musical. And I was like, guys, guys, come on. As if I wasn't gonna go out there and save the musical, right? But I really didn't want to at the time. It was really scary. Ah! But anyway, it felt really good, like having all my new friends like tell me that I did a good job and commend me for my bravery. Now that you've got your friend stitch sorted, let's talk about workload. Because I know a lot of you are asking the question, What's the difference between year six and year seven in terms of homework and assignments? Well, here's the tea. It's harder. Mm. Ah! Oh dang, that tea is scalding hot. Mm. Usually there's more homework and assignments, so get ready for that. You know, your school and your teachers are just getting you in the right headspace for the rest of high school you know, to help you learn and challenge you. And being thrown in the deep end isn't always a bad thing. In fact, it worked pretty well for me. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's still so hot, but delicious. All right, I think we have time for one last quick question. Okay. All right. Okay, this one is from Ella. Ella says, dear Pip, what should I name my new cat? <coughs> well, Ella, here are some of my favorites. Bingo, <coughs> Jamie, Mr. Jiggles, <coughs> Phyllis, and Reginald. <coughs> There you go, that's my advice. Take it or leave it. Well, that's all we got time for. Thank you so much for watching, dear Pip. I'm Pip and I'm gonna go walk my dog. Bye!